hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for being here and if you're new here please do not leave without subscribing to my youtube channel uh, my name is eki i am mostly referred to as a profitable business builder what i do is that i help aspiring and existing business owners start run and build profitable businesses and on my channel i post videos on business lifestyle food and tech in this video i'm going to be sharing with you five easy steps that you can follow to start a trip business in nigeria i'm also going to share with you five marketing strategies to implement in your trip business to attract massive sales i'll share with you five secrets of growing your trip business and finally guys i'm going to share with you um, where you can buy um, affordable items to sell for your trip shop so this is going to be a super detailed video it is the only video you need to watch if you plan to start a trip business so if you're ready let's get into the video so guys this is a highly requested video uh, i see your comments most of you have requested that i do this video um i have on my channel different um, um videos such as this i have um 30 business ideas that you can start in nigeria i also have a video i posted about how to start a food business how to start a fashion business um and all of those videos have so many views because it is filled up with so many useful information and so guys if you've not watched those videos i'm just going to link those videos in the description box so you can go and watch those videos as well um the first thing i'm going to say in this video is that trip business is a very lucrative business take it from someone that had a trip business i ran a trip business for a couple of years um and because people in nigeria love cheap items they love to wear they love bargains they love to buy um good quality things but at cheap price and that's because the disposable income is lead to people don't have so much to spend right and even if they do they probably just want to spend it on food which is like the essential thing or, or, or housing so when it comes to clothing people are forced to like um look for the cheapest option possible and that is what makes thrift business a very lucrative business so when we talk about thrift it's just a fancier way to say okrika um anything that is used is thrift so if it's used cars used clothes you must have heard people say to combo cars you know or us phone uk phone phone uk use us use you know all of this anything that is used which is also known as pre-owned is thrift and in nigeria there's a large market for thrifted items um, there are different parts of thrift business. You will see um, people sell thrift clothes, as Okita clothes, even household items, cars, um, um, beds, bed sheets. You know, there's just a large market for thrift. Thrift is a whole industry on its own. Um, there's the buying and selling part of thrift business. There's the declutter part, which basically has to do with like people like hosting that um you're selling their used items for them like maybe people that want to relocate you know but in this video we're going to focus on the buying and selling part of trip business um, i'm just going to be sharing five steps that you should follow to start a trip business so the first thing you need to do is to plan your business like with any other business right you need to have a plan planning a business is very important because a plan is more like your roadmap it guides you on, on your journey your business journey if you need to go from point a to b you have to have a road map a pathway for you to achieve whatever it is you want to do so that's what a plan does for you and with planning your business you need to define your brand you need to think about how you want to position your brand in the market because of course anything that like i mentioned trip business is a very lucrative business it's a massive industry in nigeria so there are a lot of men there are a lot of people also selling trip trip thrifted items so how do you want to stand out how do you want to position your brand so that people would buy your items so that's where planning comes into you need to do your market research so market, when we say market research it just sound like one fancy word but no basically it has to do with researching about 
your true business that you decide that you want to run market re research involves like basically asking questions from people who are already doing the business like getting like some trade secret like how how have they been surviving you know uh, market research has to do with like choosing your location so if you want to start a trade business are you going to have a shop or will you be selling it online or will you be doing both you know so you want to um have all of these details market research also has to do with um, understanding your target market so who are your audience who do you want to sell to like i mentioned trip business is a massive business do you want to start selling cars do you want to start selling bedsheet do you want to do you want to start selling clothes okay if you decide that you want to sell clothes are you selling for everybody um or will you just be selling for male or will you be selling for female will you be selling when you say clothes are you selling all kinds of clothes tops gowns bags shoes, like what do you want to sell you know and that's when niching down has to come in so i'll advise that you niche down because you want to focus concentrate on what it is that you're selling and niching down will also help you to um use the capital that you have to start what you're doing your business you know like for example you want to start children clothes you can decide that your children clothes you want to sell from babies from like zero months to um three years and then you focus on that target audience which is zero month to three years and then you sell to those people niching down helps you to streamline your marketing budget or marketing ads to the set of people that you've decided that you want to sell to which are your potential customers um it doesn't make sense for you want to sell in you want to sell for example you're you're selling um okay clothes okay car clothes for like corporate outfits for example if you're selling corporate outfits as like suit tops and pants then your target market will probably be people that are working in corporate organizations such as banks you know schools all of those places it doesn't now make sense for you to take those clothes and go and sell to someone that is selling fish in the market and and be advertising to those people do you get this is just an example but the person selling fish in the market they might not need that suit that you're selling because you have positioned your brand as um i sell corporate clothes for working class women so why are you why are you marketing to someone that is in the market selling fish do you get like because person selling fish might not wear suits to sell their fish so that's what understanding your target market looks like you, you should be able to answer all of these questions who are my who are my audience who am i targeting how old are they where do they spend your time Your research will help you to understand your target market will help you to also niche down so you can focus on the right set of people that you think would need your clothes with market research um you need to be able to identify your um the critical people the relationships that you need for your business to survive so this has to do with like vendors, suppliers, you know. Um, so for example, if you decide that you want to sell Okrika um, bags, where I, where will you buy those bags from, right? This is what market research done. You cannot just say you want to start a business and you don't know where you're going to be sourcing your bags from. You don't know where you're going to be sourcing the shoes that you want to sell from, you know. So this, planning your business, where you take out time to actually plan your business, you will be able to answer all of these um questions like who are you, who are going to be yours who are your suppliers where are they how much are you going to buy from them um if if you get like two suppliers if if these two suppliers are out of stock who else will i buy from you know just having all of these alternatives okay if you decide that you want to do your branding materials now uh, how much are your nylon bags who is going to print on the bags for you you know these are the people that you need that that you need this relationship these are the people you need for your own business to survive planning your business also has, has to do with deciding how you're going to fund your business money is very important like you need money to buy those thrifted items to resell you know it's buying and selling so how are you going to come up with this fund are you going to use personal savings are you going to borrow from family and friends are you going to try to get a grant or a bank loan anyway there are different options that are available um, these days for you to start like a small business the next point is to choose a business name with choosing a business name which just sounds very easy but it's not as easy as it sounds you know you need to think of how you want your brand to be like how you want 
people to perceive your brand you know um so you want to start a trip business um what name do you want to do you want to go for um and if you choose a business name you want to ensure that that name is what you want to use for a long time like business name is not something that oh let me just start with this name later on if i think of another name i'll start i'll change it no because once you have if once you decide to go with a particular name for example like yours after two years three years you don't want to say oh i don't want this name again i want to change again because that will affect your brand is like you're starting from from the scratch again because people already know you for a particular name so um please spend lots of time considering how you want your brand to be positioned what name you want to be known for because that will also help you with like coming up with um like branding materials like your bags and all of those things your paper bag your nylon maybe your tags you know you want to start a trip business whatever um part of the trip business you want to start if it's clothes if it's cars if it's bags if it's shoes if it's whatever it is you're selling household items you know all of these things follow our trips as well because they're already yeah, pre-owned items whatever it is you're selling choose a business name that resonates with your brand please with what you're selling the next thing is register your business and open a business bank account register your business name um, some people would wait till their business have started, have kicked off before they register their business name. Um, that's also fine, but when I'm doing something, I like to go all out and do it well because the seriousness at which you start a business, um, is that's the kind of drive or vibes you're going to use to pursue the business when you, when the business is already running. Once you register your business, people take your business more seriously. You know, you have a name because another thing with registering your business, and why I always advise that people register their business very early. If you don't register your business early, and let's say two, three years down the line, you decide that, oh, you want to register your business. But remember, you've picked a business and people already know you for their name. You can go and try to register that business name and the name is already taken. Oof. And then you start to be, you'll be angry. You start to think of another name. People already know you. You already have like promotional materials, like bags and like nylon bags and all of those things, business cards that is already in that business name. It's like you have to start from scratch. So that is why this is point three and it is very important. Register your business name with CAC. Open a business bank account. This is super important if you want your business to be taken seriously. Apart from the fact that people take businesses that have like registered bank um, bank details um, seriously, it also helps with your accounting, which is like the next point I'm going to talk about. The next point is um, do your costing and pricing analysis for your business and set up an accounting system for your business. Money management is something that is very important. It's a skill that every entrepreneur, every business owner should have. If you want to grow a profitable and a sustainable business, you need to have money management skills. And costing and pricing your, your, your product is very important um, because you want to ensure that you are selling, you're giving a price to your customers that covers your overhead. And that's one mistake that small business owner make. I see a lot like, um, they just want to sell. They say, oh, I just want to sell. So you buy it, for example, you're selling um, children clothes and you buy this top in Yaba market, for example, for 500 naira, and then you sell it for 600 naira because you want to sell. So in your mind, you've made 100 naira profits. In essence, you've lost. It's not a profit at all because if we do the breakdown, you realize that you've not added, you didn't add your transport to the market, you didn't add um, your data that you used to advertise that product, you didn't add any other indirect cost to that price. You just gave the price out like that. You're running, running a loss. You're giving a price that doesn't cover your overhead. And that is why if you do not take anything from this video, ensure that you do a proper costing and pricing analysis for your product. So I'll just get to explain it briefly. If you want to um, like give a price that covers your overhead, you should consider your direct and your indirect cost. In simple terms, direct cost is something that affects your, that, that direct, that's directly involved with the production of your goods or services that you're selling. In this case, you're selling a shifted item. The price that is directly involved with that item that you're selling. Your indirect cost, uh, your cost that is, is not directly involved in the selling of your items like your rent for example um your rent let's say you have staff like your staff cost um some other variables are like part of your 
indirect cost maybe those are like indirect costs for your direct cost like is the price that you use to buy that item gong gong go. so for example you went to the market you bought this top for one thousand naira. that is the direct that's the price of that top right so other factors will, you will add it to that your profit is like you need to add your profit add your indirect cost your rent and all of those things um transport costs your data costs all of all those other costs you add it and you add a profit because i see that a lot of people just want to sell why are you in business you're in business to make profit sell make profit you know sell make profit so that you can use that profit to like take care of yourself right like be, be able to afford the good things of life feed your family you know be alive basically so if you're selling and you're not making profits then it's just like you're working like an elephant and eating like an ant i'm so sorry to say that but that's just what it is so ensure that you do a proper costing and pricing analysis for your product this will help you to be able to sell your thrifted items very well and you will make a profit and you will not run at a loss and you need to set up an accounting um, system in place for your business this brings me to money management um research has shown that a lot of businesses fail because of money they go they just go down because the owners don't know how to manage money they think that they use the they pick they dip their hand into their business money and they just use it just like that and that is why it's important that you, you open a business account that will separate your your personal finance money from your business money so with setting up an accounting structure in your business it is not a long thing it's not hard just start with excel even on your phone or you have a book write it out like it's just it's just a systematic um, way of recording the transactions that happen in your business it's simple english so but if you think that this is hard how do you how will you set up an app i have a simple tool i have an easy template that you can use that small businesses can use to basically record their business transactions um, it's called the business profitability tool by Eki Kupanjo um, so it's an excel template that basically helps you to track your sales helps you to track your expenses helps you to track like um, your your vendors your suppliers your prospect you have your all of this information is actually really detailed though please click on the link in the description box to be able to access that so the last point in this section open your social media page and start selling so guys it is very important that in this day and age your business is online even if you have a physical shop also have your also have an online presence and nowadays i see people just sell on instagram guys or they just sell on facebook and that's all please don't limit yourself when you're starting your business make sure you open your business social media pages across all platforms as far open on instagram tiktok facebook um twitter you know and i don't know which other platform is there but these ones are like the major ones that they people are cashing out on all the other platforms the mistake you will make is to think that you just want to focus on one platform no do not because there are customers everywhere and even whatsapp i hear people say oh why are you selling on whatsapp who is on whatsapp oh my goodness oh my goodness ah whatsapp people used to sell out on whatsapp before it even come on before it comes to instagram and co so please don't do leverage all platforms my point is that leverage all platforms you know um open your social media pages spread the word start selling and start making money and with selling guys you need to ensure that you're doing marketing because marketing goes hand in hand with sale if you want to keep making sales then you need to have a marketing plan and this brings me the second section of this um, video um, where I'm going to be sharing with you five marketing strategies that you can start to implement or you can implement in your business your trip business that will attract massive sales for your business um, so I have a video where I talked about 10 marketing strategies that you can implement in your business any business if you haven't watched that video i'm also going to link it in the description box so that you can access it but for this video guys i'm going to be sharing with you five five strategies that is not even in the other video guys so i'm going to be sharing with you in this video because um i had a trip business before um and these are like the strategies that i i implemented to basically grow my trip business um the first point i'm going to be sharing 
is offer a free item with a minimum purchase this works like magic i have seen it countless times work in my business and i have no doubt that it's going to work for you as well you know so for example you can decide to say that if somebody buys or buys an item worth thirty thousand naira, the person gets a free dress see how people will be rushing to want to buy items up to thirty thousand naira. so even if somebody has bought something that's twenty eight thousand, you can just say, "Oh wow, you it's twenty eight thousand. Are you sure you will not just add something so you can get to thirty thousand naira, so that you qualify to win a free gift?" See, guys, anything that is labelled free, Nigerians like it. They love free thing. In fact, you that are watching this, video, don't you like free thing? You like free thing, eh? Huh? So anything that is labelled free, people like it, and so that is a strategy. It's like a magnet. It will drag people like. Say, oh, buy things worth 10,000 naira, you get a free gift. You can, it might even be a top, it can be just something different, a bag, whatever. But let there be a free thing attached to it, and you will see how people will run and buy it. So, this strategy works all the time. Next point is have a loyalty plan. Wow, guys, I, I don't see a lot of people do this, but this is what like big brands, all those like really big brands, this is what they do too keep attracting customers to their business loyalty plan is very important because it just shows the customer that you appreciate their patronage you know like so some people have a loyalty plan that, that, that involves like when people buy items from them five times the fifth let's say for example the sixth time that they buy they get a free delivery that's just an example it can be that the sixth time that they will buy or when somebody buy from you 10 times the 11th time they get 10 percent of their order there are different ways you can go about packaging this loyalty plan but you can read more about it you can do your research about it it works like fire is to get people will be rushing to your business like this because it's like if i've bought something from you four times and i know that you have a loyalty plan right that if the fifth time you buy i get to get free delivery when i want to go and buy from someone else i'll be like mm, no 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 i beg let me just go and buy from a curious for example let me buy from a curious because i know that curious this is my fifth purchase and i'm going to get a free delivery the free delivery can just be one five that's delivery fee or two thousand naira. but that's see that money as far as it's free customers love free things you get so make sure that you're implementing these strategies in your business they sell on different platforms i think i already mentioned this earlier on i see a lot of people that will just want to die on top of instagram instagram is not the only social media platform you won't be surprised people that are selling on the road they used to make more sales than you that are on instagram i'm not saying i'm not doing any train any shade out to anybody but my point is that sell on different platforms if you if you can even sell offline online is not the only place there are customers there are people buying offline that's why you see people in the market they will always sell you get because like a lot of people are entering their shop every day and they will buy tiktok is amazing these days people are making lots of money on tiktok sell on instagram sell on whatsapp i keep emphasizing on whatsapp and somebody will ask how will i sell how do i sell on whatsapp when i don't have their contact detail this is where i'm going to share a secret with you at the point where people are making inquiries right to purchase your item so let's say you have an online presence you sell on instagram very well or you sell on twitter very well when people want to buy from you show you they will not say okay um deliver to this place they'll give you a number put save that number on your whatsapp write their name down you know write their name down so you will have a broadcast list where you or you, you send messages to people like oh i, I have new stock or new i don't open below you know those kind of things some people on their whatsapp story the clothes have sold out before it even gets to tiktok or instagram so guys don't my point is don't sleep on one platform i see a lot of people making sales on twitter people are retweeting their this and they're making sales and you think that oh it's only one place you one platform you want to stay if it's not facebook i'm not selling if it's not instagram i'm not selling there are other platforms that people are selling they are selling <laughs> um hold online contest or giveaway um you guys you know anything that has to do with free thing people like it um but i want to take this giveaway to another angle right this with giveaway what giveaway does or holding an online contest what it does is that it brings a lot of people to your or it drags a lot of crowd or traffic to your page so even if these people don't buy today they've seen you they know you 
and if you're consistent with your with posting online they might even follow you you know so they see you they know you they, if you have good quality product they might buy from you and if you're consistent one day one day they will buy from you or they will tell someone else that oh this person sells good things so online contest is always a good idea and it's always able to like interact with your audience so finally guys you can sell slow moving products with fast moving products so let's say for example you're selling children clothes and you've bought there are some clothes that you've bought you've been marketing and nobody have they are not buying it but you have other clothes that people are buying 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 you get so you can decide that you want to pair those two together that's where bundle pricing comes into play like bundling this product and this product and giving them a best price so instead of somebody paying ten thousand naira for this top and this top they will pay seven thousand naira and that's a steal because the customer is seven three thousand naira guys moving on to the next section of this video i told you guys that this is the only video you will watch if you plan to start a trip business if you've watched my other videos you know that me i don't give you any other information i come here and i give you the best information that you need like after watching this video you just go and start your business you don't need to watch any other video so moving on to the next section of this video five secrets of growing your trip business like i mentioned earlier in this video I have a, I have I had a trip business that I ran for a couple of years. I've helped other people to start trip businesses as well. So the secret I'm sharing with you guys are things that have worked for me. The first secret is niching down. I think I talked a bit about niching down earlier in this video. I can I can throw more light on it. So niching down, what niching down does, or in simple term, it means that there are so many parts of this trip business. You can there like there's the clothing part, shoes bag part, there's the shoes part, there's the bag part, there's like people that people are selling cars, people are selling household items like cords, plates, all of those. So like there are different parts of this business. So niching down means that you want to focus. You've you've seen the old part of the business, like you've seen that oh there are different parts of true business, but I want to focus on a particular part of this business so for example now i decide that i i want to sell clothes for children and that's actually still a large audience but it's still fine but you can decide again that i want to niche down further i want to sell clothes for only girls or rather i want to sell clothes for girls and boys or for children six and below or i want to sell clothes corporate clothes for working class women who well, I want to sell only streetwear trending clothes for Gen Z like short knicker short skirts skimpy stuff only for Gen Z or you can decide that no I don't want to sell clothes I want to sell household items unique vintage cookware pot plate spoon and that's what I want to be known for and I will focus on that that is what niching down does in simple terms, that's what it means. Focusing, streamlining your, the, you've looked at the whole market and you decide that this is what I want to do. When you're starting your business, you can, you might not really know the part of the business you want to like streamline and be in. You can decide to test the waters. Okay, maybe, let me sell this, let me sell that. And then after a while, based off of your experience, your data that you've gathered, you realize that people, your, people are actually buying this item more than this and you say okay i want to focus i don't want to sell bag and shoes again it's only a bag i want to sell i see true business that they focus some of them they sell only jeans and it's only jeans that they're selling some of them they sell only um what's it called household items and that's all they sell Sitting down is one secret guys that i will share with you guys that, that if you if you do you will make money in this true business sell products at different price points this is very important because if you see this finger like this, it's not equal. All fingers are not equal. This person can afford this uh, 50,000 naira clothes. Does not mean that this person can afford it. Point is, carry items that have different price points. So if, if somebody wants to buy something and say, ah, um, if you tell them, oh, this thing is 5,000 naira, they say, ah, um, I don't have 5,000 naira. So, oh no, it's fine. I still have something like, it's similar. It's very close. And I'm selling it two five. Do you would you mind that one? And the person be like, oh yes, I have two five. I can buy that. What that has done for you is that you've not lost that business. That money, the person not carried to another person. 
it's still you that it came to do you get like it helps you to understand what your customers want and basically like i said all hands are not equal have product at different price point this turnover turnover is the secret of trim business and cheap things will always sell in nigeria the lower the price the higher the demand you must have heard that right so if you want to make your money quickly let your price be affordable but when i mean affordable i don't mean that because you bought it 500 now you want to sell it 500 now no why will you sell it 500 now if you sell it 500 now you'll make anything from it so i've talked about costing and price ensuring that your price that you're giving covers your overhead i'm ensuring that you make a little profit or if you want to make massive profit that's fine as well but let your price be affordable and turnover it's, it's the secret you buy you sell you buy you don't want to hold on to stuff because the thing with thrifted items is that you want to quickly get rid of it so that you can go to the market and buy it. give a good price and sell off your items that's business so it's better for you to sell price a product at for example five thousand naira. that five thousand naira includes all your profit it includes your overhead and you sell 20 a week than for you to price it at twenty thousand naira, and you sell only two a week you see like it doesn't make now turnover you want to quickly buy you want to quickly sell then you go back you buy that is business is buying and selling aha the next point is leverage technology leverage technology in terms of social media platform in terms of like um keeping your business data in terms of researching finding out what people are doing how are people making more money in their business and implement those strategies just like what you're doing or you're researching right you're watching this video you're researching that's you're leveraging technology to be basically better yourself so that when you start your, your trip business it will grow the last point is follow up to follow up i want to talk about it in terms of having great customer service there are people that have bought items from like especially online that they have terrible terrible customer service they don't even care like they speak to you anyhow especially because you've paid your money they just talk to you anyhow you know they, and even when they deliver the item you know, they don't know whether the delivery man ran away with your item they will not check up on you follow up is very important because it's good customer service that's what keeps a business that's what keeps a business you will hear someone say oh i like to buy from this brand because the, the, the customer service is amazing they talk to me well that's because everybody wants to feel loved you're human like everybody wants to feel loved and appreciated if you have good customers that if you talk to your customers well there's high probability that they will come back and buy from you again of course if your product quality is good so i've successfully shared five secrets of growing your trip business in this video but i'm just going to add one more bonus to that so the final point is the final point is invest in taking good pictures this is so important if you want to grow a successful true business so whatever it is that you're selling if it's clothes if it's bag shoes pots plate household whatever you're selling make sure that you take your pictures in a well littered area me i would even say take your pictures outside if you don't have like really good lighting right go outside natural god has given us sunlight go outside take your pictures but of course you have to have good background you know so make a list of the things that you need and then you need to have good phone good background good phone take your pictures outside in the morning or in the afternoon when the sun is out position it well and take good pictures even after taking your pictures use editing tools like um snapseed there are different uh, editing tools that you can use to like edit your pictures to make it brighter and colorful because when somebody wants to buy from you the first thing they see is the picture picture is like that's what you're using to like market your product right if the quality of the picture is bad even if the product is good though it's good quality but they, it cannot show from the picture now you can't show from the picture or video that you're making with that i've come to the end of that section of this video and we are moving on to the final section of this video guys i know this is a long video but I know that it is worth it we're going to learn a lot from this video the final part of this video is i'm going to be sharing with you where you can buy like cheap items from to sell so i'm going to stream that streamline this to like clothing business all through this video i've been talking about thrift in terms of anything you want to buy 
but I'm streamlining this section of this business to mostly um, clothing, like bags, shoes, and maybe a little bit of household items. So, um, where can you buy? Where can you buy cheap items from in Nigeria if you want to sell like cheap dead items? Um, the places that you can go to to buy thrifted good quality at good price because the idea of selling thrifted items is the fact that they are cheap and the fact that they are cheap and you can quickly get your returns like you can quickly make money on it so you can buy something like for example 500 naira you sell it one five or two five you've made a lot of money on it because you've put a lot of money on it you know so you want to ensure that you are buying in the from the right place where you can get the best price possible and in nigeria honestly is lagos and abba that i know that you can buy good items from at good price so now bringing it down if you're if you can you of course you can go to like kotunu they sell amazing prices as well for like clothes bill all of those items but the only issue is the fact that you might have like custom issues bringing it into nigeria except you have your ways me, I don't know those ways. So I'm just going to talk about places in Lagos where you can buy cheap items from. If you if you plan to sell like um, or quick have clothes, bags, shoes, all of those items, and that's because I'm sharing Lagos because I live in Lagos and I've, I run my business in Lagos. So these are the markets that I know that I've gone to and I've seen that they sell like good quality things at good price. So the very first place or markets where you can go to to buy good quality clothes at cheap prices or bags or shoes or hand, um, household items for good prices and resell is Yaba Market. You guys, if you've been following my channel for a while, you will know that I have complete love for Yaba Market. I'm in love with Yaba Market. I love Yaba Market. It's one of my most favorite markets in the world. <laughs> you guys, so Yaba Market is the first market I'm going to be mentioning in this video because um, oh guys, there's so many things in that market, especially designer things. You see it at good price. So if you buy from Yaba Market, you have stand a good chance of most of the people that even sell on sell in Lagos online, they buy their things from Yaba Market. So Yaba Market is of course my number one go-to market. You get especially inside. So like Yaba, so now you know there's like Teddy or show, like the whole complex. You go inside and there, there are days that they open bill so you can buy like good items so in yaba market you can buy bill and you can buy like single pieces you will still see good prices and you can sell and make good turnover as well i ran a market is no show day so this is called like um nigeria army shopping um area if you go to the blog w they sell like you will see people importers like people that have brought in bill they also sell like single pieces but in that market that arena market you will see a lot of good items there um the next market is lagos island uh, market some people think that in lagos island market they sell only like maybe full stuff or they sell only, like new things there's this part inside the market called bali market in fact most of all those um, people that are working in union bank all those banks there they still go and buy your quicker clothes nah. <laughs> you go to that bali market you still corporate clothes, designer bags, designer shoes, like, hmm. you guys don't do all like this market I'm sharing with you, just explore it. So Bali market is in Lagos Island market. There's Aswani market. This is also very popular. There's um, Alaba international market. This came to me as a shop because I just used to feel like, when I, when I hear Alaba market, I used to feel like Alaba market is only for, like, I don't even know, <laughs> like, maybe spare parts or all those other things people that are importing things or you really think that yeah at lava market they were selling like okrika clothes there but trust me they sell okrika clothes there at good prices that you can buy and resell even build you get then kantagua market um, i've only been to this market once but their prices are also really good it's um on abiokata expressway it's close to Abu Legba. So it's on that express which is somewhere. If you're taking a bus, then you stop at super bus stop. I think I've shared all of these markets. So, but if you don't live in Lagos, if you live like in the south, you can go to your you can go to your um Abba market. People also buy like good things from Abba Market. But see, even if you don't live in any of these places I've mentioned, 
go to a market and act around that's why market research is important act around where can i buy um, cheap items from in this let's this place i'm using take it up start selling it and if you can you can also like go to like come to lagos or you know and then um, establish a relationship with like a supplier a vendor so that they can be supplying your goods when it comes to business you just have to think of the best way that is convenient for you and that will also help you save money and make money you get it so guys with that i have come to the end of this video i know this is a long video but i know without no doubt that you've learned a thing or two from this video and if you did please do not forget share this video with your friends and family members subscribe to my youtube channel give this video a thumbs up watch my other business videos my other videos as well i have other beautiful videos as well on my channel support me thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye